videos. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, today I'm heading out to see a friend I haven't seen since, or hardly seen since uh, secondary school. Um, we used to hang out a bit because um, he was a DJ, I was in a band, uh, my brother was in a band as well. And um, so like school performances and that kind of thing, we were, we were all involved. Um, had absolutely no idea he's into farming and he's a farmer now, full-time farmer. So, um, he also runs a charity tractor, uh, tractor run and um, it's really successful. And so we ended up getting in touch and I'm heading down today to see one of the tractors being dressed ahead of the run this weekend um, and to give him a couple bit of help with um, with a little bit of video and stuff. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So I haven't seen Taryn really since college. And yeah, it's a bit weird. Didn't realize he was into farming. So um, yeah, let's go and have a look. Hello everyone, welcome to another one of our videos. Um, Managed to get off the farm today to come and meet with an old mate. This is my uh, my mate, Taron. Hello. We've hardly seen each other since secondary school. Maybe yeah, on the odd yeah. night out. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Didn't know you were into farming. No. Actually. No. Um, Taron and I both into the music side of things. Taron's a DJ. I played in a band with my brother in school, and so we used to always be in like music tech department. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and then the there was the radio like as well. Yeah, we so. set up the radio in yeah. school, and. Uh, popped up on Instagram and we're there we are yeah so yeah um, both into farming and Taryn runs the um, local tractor run don't yes. you charity tra tractor yes. run and uh, raises some money for some good causes yeah um, so maybe you can tell me a little bit about it because I've, I've been intrigued to know so <laughs> the first year we did it was it was Covid uh, Boris Johnson had cancelled Christmas uh, and a couple of mates messaged me on Facebook Oh look, so and so's doing a tractor run. Do you think we could do something like that? Uh, so two weeks before Christmas, I decided to give it a go, and we got 68 tractors uh, from Louth P&B to go round Louth uh, and do a Christmas tractor run, and it was really good, absolutely fantastic. The public was behind it. We was getting messages saying, "Oh, thank you so much. My kids have really enjoyed it, and all the rest." So that was the first year, and we raised about three grand. Uh, so yeah, really good. Second year, right, we'll do it again, bigger and better. Uh, we did it for Yellow Wellies and their Mind Their Head campaign, uh, and we had 111 tractors. So and we raised six grand for the Mind Your Head campaign for Yellow Wellies. Wow. And here we are again this year, trying to go even bigger, uh, hopefully to be the biggest one in the UK. Yeah, so you've been running for a couple of years now. Yeah. And this year you're raising money for Lincolnshire Rural Support, Support Network, yeah. yeah. Which is uh, basically every year you've been putting money back into agriculture, haven't yes. you? So they've been yeah. agricultural charities. Yeah. But they're also quite a spectacle for people to see at this time of year as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So I'm getting messages on Facebook that parents are sending me saying my kids aren't asking for Santa this year. They want to know when the tractors are coming around. Because they want the tractor, yeah. don't we? So, <laughs> yeah. so, you know, it's, it's really overwhelming that people are sending me messages like that. Yeah. Uh, and we've got massive public support. Uh, for the that was a bit loud, wasn't it? But there we yeah. go. Uh, Lincolnshire Rural Support Network are, are, are basically for people in agricultural and yeah. rural communities. Yes. And they help out for uh, when people are struggling with their mental health, yeah. uh, financial difficulty, yeah. or basically if they're, if they're struggling, they've got someone that they can call upon. So it's yeah. a really good charity. It is, it? yeah. And I know quite a few people that do use the charity. So it, it's good that it's a, it's a local charity. It's close to Louth and Lincolnshire and it's good just to give them something back and to do a fantastic job and I know they've helped a few of my mates out in the past so yeah that's that's why we're doing it this year for them. They've been around like 20 years or yeah. so haven't they yeah. so it's a, and it's a, it's a very professional charity as well isn't it? Yes it is yeah yeah so yeah let's see if we can go bigger and better but Definitely. we're here aren't we yeah and there's a there's another element to this because um, there is the farmers have really got behind it and got into it got these yes. tractors out got yeah. them dressed up haven't yeah, they, they have, a bit yeah. of fun for everybody yeah i mean michael won it last year best dressed tractor uh that was sponsored by james wells he sponsored a uh, chainsaw for the best dressed tractor prize and then Michael won that and then donated it back into us to do a live auction for this chainsaw. Oh, that's and I think an 150 pound chainsaw ended up earning about 500 quid. Yeah. So really good of him to do that. But this year is going bigger and better. The prize is up there. Mr. Dyson's donated a brand new vacuum cleaner. 
Uh, so, yeah, he, he's going all out and he's, he's in it to win it. I mean, he did make you put a hat on as well. Yes. There's, no, yeah. bias, there's no, no bias here, no, is there? No, no, You have no influence over who's going to win this No, I don't, no. I'm not judging it, so it's nothing to do with me. <laughs> But it's amazing. I mean, there's a lot of effort gone into this, isn't there? Yeah. It's, I can't wait to see it all lit up. No, definitely. Um, but it's nice that the, that the farms are really make, getting quite, quite behind it, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, and they do, and they do. And they all try and better each other. No, we're going to win it. No, we're going to win it. And yeah, it's a good, friendly competition. Sort of friendly. Yeah. <laughs> So the the, um, the tractor run, how far is it? What's the distance that you do? So it's 35 miles this year. The previous two, we just did it around Louth. But what we was finding was that we was gridlocking Louth. So 100 tractors around Louth is about a mile and a half long. So we saw a lot of everyone coming into Louth, gridlock Louth, coming to watch it, and then 100 Maybe tractors. Not, not the PR that we needed no. for the, for the so, tractors. <laughs> yeah, so this year we're going further afield. Uh, it's 35 miles long. We're going to include a load of villages in it as well. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're, we're bigger and better. And I mean, we're going in the new year. I'm hoping that we can actually have a proper catch up and yeah. we can talk a little bit more about the farming that, that yeah. you do as well. But you're, you've got a tractor. Yeah, yeah, I've got a tractor. I work on a farm. I've been at this farm for a year and a half now. Uh, yeah. But you're entering the run, haven't you? But yeah, well, I'm going to be lead tractor. So yeah, yeah. P1. P1. That P1. is it. Yeah. Well, I look forward to it. I mean, I'm going to join you in the tractor. Yes, you are. On Sunday night. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing all the, the lights and going yeah. for a bit of a bit of a drive around whilst raising money for a really good cause. And um, let's hope that it's a, a bigger success than, than last year. But yeah, definitely, a, definitely. Yeah, pretty awesome to see you, and uh, looking forward to our little, our little jaunt out. Yeah, yeah, it'll be good. <laughs> be good. All right, that'll do then, I think. Right. You can see the people working on these tractors and. Uh, yeah. How long are you going to be working on this hill? It's pretty serious. Midnight. Midnight. It's going, to be, <laughs> it's going to be a lot of hours put into this and a lot of thought that's gone into it as well. They must have been designing it quite a bit of time before Definitely. Before the run. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, look what you've started, Tarrant. I know, like, it's I know. This like madness. So he's nearly spent a good part of a week just on this one tractor. And then he's got to do the second one. I suppose at this time see. of year, I mean, the ground's frozen, there's not that much going on. No. Farms, bits, pieces. Anyway, we're going to take a little look around the, we're going to have a little look around the tractor and see what they're, see what they're doing. Obviously, come down to have a look. Didn't know, didn't know much about what to expect. I mean, it's quite a big effort that's going into this, isn't it? We do put a lot of effort into it. Um, I think the better we can make the tractors, the better the public like it. The public will come out. They give money, and so it, yeah, it, it's a good thing. And, and the donations flood in, so for the charity, so it's a good thing. So technically, how difficult is it to mount a load of lights on the tractor <laughs> and make? I mean, this it doesn't look. It's going to look pretty insane, isn't it, when we get all the lights turned on? In the dark, it looks awesome. We had the lights on last night a little bit, playing around. Um, we've spent all week building this, to be fair. We've built a sleigh for the rear of it, we've, we've done all this. It, there's a lot of work that goes into it. Yeah. But we have to try to be different every year as well, so we don't just want to turn up with the same thing. We've got to be different, so um, we've tried to make it so that like the, the reindeer are flying, jumping over the tractor. Um, we've even gone to the extent that these deer are actually the John Deere logo. Yes, I did kind of, I gathered that it's, it's got some kind of connection. Absolutely, so that is the John Deere logo. They've all cut out, blew it up on the workshop floor, made them bent on steel to make that actually match the John Deere logo. That is insane. Yeah. So, I, I haven't, obviously I haven't really taken a close look because we've just been chatting about what, what, what yeah. the run is, but yeah, you've actually made the thing to put the lights around and you've yes. got a few people, that's a lot of effort. Now, um, you won last year, didn't you? We did win last year. And so the bar is high. You set the bar very high. Was it the first one you did? Was yes, it was. Year? It was last year. So we you had, come we... in, wipe the floor, and now you've got to go one better. So Absolutely. But I think the competition, the other entrants would also be raising their bar this year. So we, we certainly under, feel the pressure that we need to go there and we need to put a good show on. So. Well, obviously, this whole charity um, tractor run is putting money back into the... Um, into agriculture, isn't it, yes. locally? Yes. And I also think PR-wise it's quite good because you're putting on a show for, for many, many people Absolutely. just before Christmas. So 
I mean, is that was that your motivation behind getting involved, or? We like to support local charity. It's something that we can do reasonably easily. We, we have the tractors, we have the toys, we, we can do that. Um, I think as the older I get, it's, it's good to give back. We can't keep taking. Um, so yeah, it is important to us to do it. Um, and I think the joy that we also give people, I mean, we're very complacent that we have all these big tractors and toys around us all day every day. But when you see all the young children, well, they're having their photographs taken with it and, and the smile on their faces, it, it's awesome. And, and it, it's well worth, well worth the effort and the, and the joy. I mean, farmers get a little bit of bad press, don't they? And, yes. Uh, uh, I think I think this is a great thing to be part of, and it's good fun for you. Yes. And um, yeah, a bit of competition, healthy competition going on as well. It certainly is. We're also taking these tractors out um, next week as well. We're going to the supermarket car parks on late night shopping evenings to, with all the lights and lit up, to raise money for other charities as well. So oh, we feel it's, it's a worthwhile effort to do it. And Lincolnshire Rural Support Network. Um, it's obviously a very worthy professional charity. I think it's been around 20 years or so, yes. supporting people in Lincolnshire um, that are rural or related to agriculture. And yes. I think this is quite close to your heart, isn't it, really? It's very close to my heart. I've personally suffered with mental health issues, um, of which I was very lucky to have help with. Um, until I've had mental health issues, I would have almost told someone to, to, to man up. Um, that was my ignorance, and I, you know, I'm not very proud of that. Having now suffered, I realise the importance of having help and equally the importance of, of having someone you can phone or someone you can contact because the one thing I have learned is to, when you're having a bad time, to actually admit it and, and, and tell someone, yeah, and no, I'm not okay. And I think there is a, a, a well-known saying now that it's, it's okay to so not, not be, okay. Not be yeah. okay. And that's absolutely correct. You need to admit, get help. You're not alone. None of us are alone. And I'd much rather spend 10 minutes talking to someone on the phone or an hour talk to someone on the phone. I can help them. So it's a, it's a massively important thing to do. And I think in farming, is it one, one in, uh, do they say that it's now one of the biggest problems in farming is, is ment mental health or the biggest, biggest yes. worries going forward. And a lot, a lot of time isolated on, on a, a tractor for many, many hours Absolutely. and you know, very little sleep at, at certain points in the year, Absolutely. financial pr pressures. There's so many things that can, that, that people just don't see from the outside, no, isn't there? Uh, absolutely. Totally agree with you on every point there. Yeah. Particularly the financial pressure. The job's getting very hard, and people have this perception of farmers we're riding around in big tractors and with big combines and etc. But if they actually knew the financial situation behind the scenes of how that was funded and how it worked, I think they'd all be quite surprised at yeah, the amount of investment we've all put in for the return that we get. And and how those returns have changed over over the years. Yes. And not really. I mean, we we could go in into it in detail, but fertilizer is a great example. Um, you know, it went up by about 300% uh, yes. once the Ukrainian war went yes. out, but our income didn't go up by 300%. But the problem is we so have to buy it. Yeah, we, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, it's not a choice, is it? No, it's not, not at all. It's not like a machine where you could say, well, actually, I'm going to repair this machine or do not it up and try and keep it going for a few not more years. All. Without fertilizer, I'm we have, not we have to buy it. We have to buy the sprays. Without that, we don't get the yields. Without the yields, we've ha we have no income. So, yeah, yeah it, it's, it's very hard. Very so, hard. let's hope that we can put on a good show, raise some good money for charity and I'm really looking forward to Sunday night when I get to uh, get to see this all lit up. Okay, we look forward to it, thank you. Thanks Mike. Bye. so sensitive to their electrics. Well, yeah, I did wonder actually how you actually made the oh, right, the right one. But it's all covered in snow sheet. Flag, flag poles. We actually run it all on. We have two generators, one is a spare. Everything runs on generators, so we don't interfere with the tractor electrics. The only thing the tractor electrics power is the Dukes of Hazard air horns. And the snow, oh, the snow machine runs on these as well. We have a snow machine. Snow machine? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, it's like full up, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but perhaps we've got snow machines. We go over the crowds, so we drive through the crowds of people, we put a snow machine on. <laughs> <laughs> so, generators, yeah. power the lights, Dukes. snow machines, air Dukes had air horns. Oh no, we, 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 this is the real deal, mate. Don't no, make me speak, Jenna. This is the real deal. We, we go to town.
you like, share and subscribe. I've done that one yesterday. Fully refurbished fuel bowser, you know, in any colour you like, with any pump and exit you like, speak to Michelle, she'll, she'll do you a good deal. <laughs> If you want to hire a Stuart okay, trailer or a John Deere tractor, then you need to speak. Yeah, <laughs> tractors, load alls, good prices, I'm your mum. What's the name? The GCS. GCS, GCS Machinery, GCS Hire, I'm Tim, 07497 And you've got a YouTube channel. Yeah, we've got a YouTube channel and a Tiki Toki, a Facebook, what else we got? A Instagram. Twitter, Instagram, Instagram, yeah. We're on it all. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're down with the kids. <laughs> down with the kids, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We are looking for subscribers. Yeah. Please. Yeah. It's free. It'll, it'll we are looking for subscribers, please. We are we sharing's like caring, isn't it? Yo, a yeah. Absolutely. We'd yeah. like, yes. We do run competitions <laughs> to people share, share yeah. and like and whatever like, they have to do. Like, share, click, be there. <laughs> and you get them to get the antlers made. I've lent him one of my mixer drums for a red nose. Um, I won't charge him a lot. I won't charge him a lot. He's friendly. He's friendly. <laughs> As long as it doesn't beat you, it doesn't matter. You won't. You <laughs> <laughs> won't. You won't. 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 We're not really, it's taking part, it's the taking part that counts. Oh, it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the raising money that counts. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Is it going to be an outtake for this? Well, I think, we, I, think we could, I think we could do some outtakes, couldn't we? Oh, <laughs> I have to imagine so if you keep filming. <laughs> but if it's a hairdryer this year, are you going well, to keep it? Hair straighteners. <laughs> <laughs> hair straighteners, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's internal driving competition. See, if I do my tracks first, I've got the lights. Let me stop you there. Who stitched me up today? Who stitched me up right royally today? Tim, could you go and deliver a fuel bowser to the Ipswich for me, please? Of course you can. Anything. <laughs> yeah, he ain't got time to do his own tractor. Not a problem. <laughs> Is everything... Dickhead here. <laughs> What's the problem? Is everything made, made up for your tractor, then? Have you just got to mount it all? Or what's, what's the crack? No. 